what are the top five high schools in the Northern Kentucky area, where are they located, and how much does it cost to live there? That's what we're gonna go over in today's video. Hey everybody, I'm Cameron with the Barron's team, your Northern Kentucky real estate agents, and today we're gonna go over the top five high schools in the Northern Kentucky area according to niche.com. This isn't my own personal list of my biases that I just came up with with the top five schools. This is gonna be according to the niche.com website and their grading system. So without further ado, let's hop on the computer back here and take a look at these schools. All right, kicking off our list of the top five high schools here in Northern Kentucky, we have Campbell County High School. So this one's actually ranked number 26 best high school in the entire state of Kentucky, number five here in Northern Kentucky with an overall report card ranking at an A minus. We'll open up this uh, full report card grading here and see where they're ranking at. I get an A minus in academics, A minus in sports, then a B plus in clubs and activities, B plus in administration, B in teachers, B in college prep, B minus in food, and then a C plus in diversity and resources and facilities. So let's unpack these a little bit, um, a quick little synopsis of it here to say Campbell County High School is highly rated public school located in Alexandria, Kentucky, which we'll go over, dive into the location a little more here in just a moment. Uh, with approximately 1,533 students. I will say I think some of this information is maybe a year or so lagging, so just keep that in mind. Um, but again, this is a, a great resource to at least get an idea of. So they have a ratio of student to teacher of 17 to one. And then we'll look at some testing and academics here as well. Also, here's the information if you wanna, uh, the website or email, their address and the phone number if you wanna reach out and learn more. Uh, so again, 26 out of 245 high schools in the entire state of Kentucky, according to niche.com uh, academics. So their recent proficient uh, or their proficiency testing for reading and math, they're at 43 for reading and 35 for math. I did uh, hover over this before and thought it was good to note. I guess the way that each test, each state does this state testing is a little different. So keep that in mind if you're trying to compare state to state, it's probably better to con just compare high school to high school within the same state. Um, and then some other stuff that I thought was interesting was just giving you an idea of some of the local um, or the more popular college choices. And then if you want an idea of the average SAT or ACT scores, keep in mind this is based on responses. So if not everyone responds, not as accurate information, but still good information to note. And then looking at it on a map here. So this is a good thing to look at. So this one you're gonna notice out of the five schools that we're gonna look at, I am, would be willing to bet, we'll uh, take a look at the other maps. That this one is gonna be the largest amount of um, square footage or area or region that it covers, that's because in Alexandria here, you have a lot of rural area. So in some of the other schools you're gonna see, it might be, uh, for instance, maybe a little area like this big compared to this whole thing here. But that's again, it's a lot more rural area. So you have um, less people condensed or densely uh, populated on top of each other. So it does look like, wow, that's a lot of area. Well, it is because there's not near as many people in, in some other areas. So zoom out a little bit here just to give you kind of a point of reference where this high school uh, school district is located at or on the uh, eastern northern Kentucky area. And then we'll close this here. And then we will lastly, we'll well, second to last here, we'll look at some stuff with the median household income. So some things I did note about this website where it's a little off. For the majority speaking, it's a pretty good resource, but some of the things that were a little off were, were like the uh, the median rent and median home value. Now I can't, I didn't double check the median household income. I assume at some point this was right. Again, I think the information is a little delayed, but we have about 87, 88,000 uh, thousand dollars a year for the median household income. I do know this rent and home value is low. So they have the median home value of 214. I wouldn't get your hopes up on that one um, because I am looking at my other monitor here and I actually have the median income, or sorry, the median sales price uh, for all of 2023 for this school district is at 272,000. Where I think the discrepancy can come in when you're looking at this resource is uh, they're looking at just the zip code in which this school is located. So keep that in mind as we're it's, uh, redirecting us here just to show. Um, still a good uh, starting point of homes for sale. Like here's a bunch of condos. Um, there's a single family home. This looks like a plot of land. So you can click on that link here and here's a list of homes that are for sale in that area. But again, 
we scroll to the top here, it says in the four one right here, four one zero zero one zip code. That is a zip code in this in the school district, but there could be more, or maybe there's some that are part of a different school. In this case, it's just some that are missing. But yes, it's a great resource to at least get an idea. Um, of course, if you want a more accurate list, don't hesitate to reach out to us for whatever school district or high school you're interested in. We will get you a 100% accurate one. Um, but getting back to niche.com here. Uh, then lastly, let's just look at one of the reviews here. I'm not Again, I'm not going to break down the entire list of every school here in every ranking. Uh, but one of the, one of the reviews... Um, this is someone I'm now in my senior year at Campbell County High School. Like other public schools, we have a population of over 2,000. So there you go. See, it is a little data. 2,000 students who have different interests. That's an overall positive one. Uh, here's another one. Campbell County is a well-diverse high school full of teachers and staff members that want to see every child succeed to the best of their abilities in and outside of school. That's always something good you want to hear. So teachers are very supportive, generous, encouraging. Sounds like a great school based on reviews, and they do have almost four out of five star reviews. So that is number five high school. So let's go ahead and bring up the next one. Coming in at number four on the list, we have Cooper High School located in Union, Kentucky. Uh, Randall K. Cooper High School is actually a relatively newer high school in Northern Kentucky when comparatively speaking to the other high schools. Um, and it has an overall rating of an A. So uh, this one, we only have one C. So we've got, say we've got A minus in academics, teachers, sports. We've got a B plus in clubs and activities, college prep, administration. And we have a B in food, a B minus in diversity, and a C plus in resources and facilities. So this one is actually uh, number two in the uh, Boone County area. And then we look here um, again it's a, it's it's kind of general uh, this little general synopsis here it's a highly rated public school, public school obviously we're looking at the top five here in all of northern kentucky again the contact information if you want to learn more about the school and then this one is so i believe campbell county was number 26 in all of northern Ken in all of kentucky uh number five in northern kentucky and cooper high school is going to be number 18 out of all of the public schools in high school. So we're busting the top 20 here. Um, and then the academics, they're, you would expect they're going to be a little bit higher as we're getting more into the top rankings here. So 50% in reading and 46 in math. Um, scroll down and kind of look where it is on the map. Uh, this one is going to have some more rural area too. Uh, so we might see a, a similar situation like we did with um, Campbell County. Yeah, we'll zoom out a little bit on it here. So a little smaller, you, you may have remembered that the uh, Campbell County High School was pretty much all this area, but it's a good chunk as well. And why would that be? We're kind of on opposite sides of the map here now uh, on western side of Northern Kentucky, but there's a lot of rural area right here. So again, that's what makes such a large area that it's covered in. But this gives you a general idea. You're kind of in the Union area here. Um, in Northern Kentucky, whereas before you were primarily in the Alexandria area. Also, uh, Campbell County versus Boone County. Then looking at home listings, again, let's take a look at this one and see uh, some examples of some homes you could get in this area. Um, I will say that the uh, median sales price with this one is a little off too. You're gonna be looking at about $340,000 as the median sales price in Cooper School District for the year of 2023. Uh, and again, you've got options, condos, ranch homes, two-story homes. Uh, I think we got some paired patio homes going on here. Um, but yeah, lots of different homes you can see. A little bit higher on the price point. Again, it's uh, 340 versus 272 with Camel County. Um, but yeah, it's a good example of you know lots for sale. So uh, a good example of homes if you want to look at it. But also keep in mind, it's searching by the zip code 41091. 41091 is not just one high school. So this is, it's a good starter to take a look. But I know, uh, of course, it's a biased opinion, but I would recommend reaching out to a real estate agent to get the exact homes for that school district. Because if you're looking at 41091, you're gonna see another high school in the zip code here in a moment. So you could be looking at a home. If you want that specific high school, you need to narrow it down even further than just zip code. Uh, so I already said the median sales price. We've got what 340, um, and then we'll look at a couple reviews here. So we got an 18 to one teacher ratio. 
Uh, and then a couple reviews. Let's see. I had an absolute. I absolutely loved all four years at Cooper. The teachers were amazing and cared about student success. Fellow students were friendly and helpful, and campus campus promoted a healthy learning environment. Again, love to hear that. Cooper High School has a tremendous diversity. Uh, my senior class is very close knit and have all shared memorable experiences with each other. So these are again some pretty cool reviews to hear. Uh, only a couple. The negative here that had poor or terrible. So that's I mean that's really great to see. So that is number number four for the top five um, high schools in Northern Kentucky. And now moving on to number three, we have Larry A. Ryle High School. Uh, so this is the number three in Northern Kentucky, number one for Boone County. Uh, and then we'll see what it is for Kentucky here. Uh, number 15 in the entire state of Kentucky. Uh, so again, we have uh, four currently of the top five high schools in here are the top 20 sorry four of the top 20 high schools in northern kentucky so again it's a pretty good area where it's uh pretty hard to go wrong with with picking schools um so ryle's going to get an overall ranking of an a we have um, an a in sports a minus in academics then we have a b plus in teachers clubs and activities college prep administration a b in diversity b minus in food and a c plus and resources and facilities, which I'm very curious what they're rating the C plus on, because um, it seems like that's we've had three C pluses, and I would say that uh, all three of these schools, uh, especially the last two, have pretty good resources and facilities. So, uh, so I'm wondering what they're what they're basing this on. <laughs> um, but again, here's the contact information if you're interested in reaching out to the school system directly. Fifteen. Uh, in the state of Kentucky, 48% uh, for reading and 50% for math. Uh, and then the map area. So uh, this is, again, what I was just referring to in the previous school, 41091. So you may have noticed, if this looks familiar, that this looks really close to Cooper. That's because it is. Cooper School District is in this area. So that's why this is also 41091, among, uh, not including actually a couple. This actually, I think, has three or four uh, zip codes in this one school district, but they're broken up. So again, don't just search based on the zip code. Uh, but you, this is a general region. You can see, again, some more rural areas around here, more subdivision type neighborhoods here. And then uh, median sales price. So median in household income is stating $128,000. The median home value is absolutely not $292. It is $359,000. Um, and then we'll look at some, what was the student to teacher ratio? I thought I think that's pretty interesting, 19 to one. So they're keeping it all pretty close there. And then um, a lot more reviews for this school, probably because it's been around a lot longer. Um, Let's see, I had to go through code all my high school years, so I don't want to skip past that, but again, that's not your typical experience. Um, so when some describe their high school, they may use adjectives such as orderly, organized, or scholarly, and while each of those are credible and important criteria for high school to have, I would describe Larry Ryle High School with the adjective chaotic. I understand this may be slightly unusual, but fear not, I will explain. So this is a pretty <laughs> detailed one. They gave it a five-star review. Uh, let's skip through some of it. Rob provided me with a safe space to completely mature to a well-rounded goofball. This is a, a funny uh, <laughs> a funny review here. Pick the winner. Uh, you can tell I didn't vet these because I would have picked something more simple. But anywho, lots of reviews here. So again, it's always nice to see some actual reviews of the high school. So this is Larry A. Ryle High School coming in at number three out of the top five high schools in Northern Kentucky. And then moving on to number two, we have Highlands High School. So Highlands High School is the number seven high, is rated according to niche.com, the number seven best public high school in the entire state of Kentucky. Um, they're located in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. So they get an overall rating of an A as well with uh, an A in academics and club activities and A or A plus in sports. Can't miss that one, A plus in sports. Um, then. Uh, a minus in teachers, college prep, and food. Uh, B in administration, B minus in resources and facilities, and a C in diversity. So there's our first B. We've seen resources and facilities, which they do have nice facilities, but um, I guess I just didn't. You know, I'm, I'm curious what an A is to this uh, to this website. Uh, Fort Thomas Schools. Here's their contact information again. If you want to reach out, well, Fort Thomas Schools Highlands, but Fort Thomas is where it's located. Um, 
Again, ranked number six in the entire state. That's pretty cool. Highlands, or that's athletics oh, uh, specifically. So number seven, but then number six for athletics. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then 57% for reading, 62% for math. Let's scroll down to the map here. Uh, this one will probably be the smallest one, the smallest we've seen thus far, as far as area. So when I zoom out on this, you'll see what I mean here. Uh, So again, look how small that looks on the map. When we resumed out this far before, we had uh, Campbell County that covered like all of this area, then this little tiny spot here. Um, so smaller schools, uh, more people, densely populated uh, region right here. So this is the approximate area. But this is again where it's important to know if you want to go to this high school, or you want your children, I should say, to go to this high school, the Fort Thomas zip code will not guarantee you are going to this school. It depends if you're, it can be on a little bit of the outskirts here where you may have, have a Fort Thomas zip code, but may not be in this school. So it's very important to double check these things if this school is important for you uh, or for your children, I should say. Um, looking at the homes here. So again, there it is. They're just searching by zip code. That can be risque. But the average sales price for Highlands is actually uh, coming in lower than Ryle and Cooper, but a little higher than Campbell County at $317,500. That's the median sales price. Um, and again, you can scroll through here and get a pretty good idea. This can be a pretty wide range. You can have homes, um, you know, at this one, that's two seventy-five, dollars and this one's close to $800,000. So uh, still some good examples here. And then uh, let's scroll down the median household income. I still feel like that's kind of on the low side. I know that home sales price is, um, again, I think this is maybe a little bit dated information. Uh, and then rankings, of course, this one's coming in lower on the reviews rather than a school like Ryle, less students coming through the school, less reviews, it all makes sense. Uh, my time at Highlands High School were some of the best years of my life. Again, that's a great start there. Um, and then we have some other average reviews here. Uh, but again, dive into all this. Feel free to read as many as you'd like. Um, they, again, they have lots of information here to unpack. Uh, and then lastly, but definitely not least, we have the number one rated high school in all of Northern Kentucky, according to niche.com, Beachwood High School, coming in at number four for the entire state of Kentucky. So. Putting us on the map here in Kentucky. Um, again, this one's helping us get in. That we have four schools in the top 20. This being obviously number one, Beachwood High School, located in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Uh, this one you're going to see probably have the least amount of reviews because it has is less students in the school than say something like uh, Rock High School. Um, overall, A. We have uh, A plus in sports. They are definitely known for having excellent sports program. Um, a and teachers, academics, uh, A minus in clubs and sports, food, administration, college prep, and then a B minus in diversity and a B minus in resources and facilities, which again, they have excellent school facilities. So I am very curious to know what is an A according to niche.com. There must be some amazing facilities down uh, in other areas of Kentucky that I have just not been privy to. Um, here's the contact information for Beachwood Schools if you want to. Uh, get more information on them. Number two uh, for best public high school teachers in the state. So that's pretty awesome. 61% um, in reading, 54% in math. Again, scrolling down, scrolling down on the map here. This is another interesting one. Again, I know I've, I think I've said it for all five schools and I will say it one last time. This is one where just because you are in this uh, Fort Mitchell uh, zip code does not guarantee you're going to Beachwood schools depends where you're at So if again, this is something that's important for your child to go to the specific school district this high school Make sure you confirm that's actually where they're gonna go, they're gonna go with that zip code and then uh, And then again see how tiny this one looks compared to maybe like the Ryle Cooper or especially Campbell County Because this is uh, just the area that's covered because you're getting to more densely populated areas so, uh, and it depends on the size of the school as well and how many students will be admitted. So this is about a general area, a little bit touching this Lakeside Park, but uh, it's mostly Fort Mitchell area, but not all Fort Mitchell. Asterisk there, make sure you know. Uh, nearby homes for sale. This is one where the average sales price is our highest yet, or sorry, median. The median sales price is our highest out of all the schools yet at $377,450. Uh, again, right off the bat, you can see a seven hundred and 
pretty much a $790,000 house here. Uh, these are some condos, so keep that in mind when you see these lower price points. There's gonna be some older homes there too. This definitely is a high school that has a lot of older homes. I know I say that and here's all this new construction, but these are a bunch of condos. Um, and also, I, I don't even think this is the school district. This is just the zip code. Absolutely, yeah, these are not even the school district. It's the zip code. Again, we're not even gonna continue looking at this one. Search Beachwood uh, School District when you're looking for homes or have an agent send you an actual list. You don't wanna get tripped up by looking, falling in love with a home to find it because it's in the right zip code, only to find out it doesn't even belong to that high school district. Um, again, here's uh, the reviews as well. Gonna have less reviews, smaller school. Um, the school culture here is the best, which again, um, if you have, if you know someone that's gone there, it's, you're very hard pressed to find someone that went to Beachwood High School that did not like the school. They have excellent academics and, uh, uh, and sports. Um, so again, this is the best, great culture, best part. I made pretty good friends while I was there. There you go. True school community. Absolutely. All of this is if you're someone that's wanting your kid to go to the school, that's got to make you feel good. So we will wrap things up here with finishing. Um, we've got Beachwood High School. We've got Highlands coming in at number two, Ryle coming in at three, Cooper coming in at four, and Campbell County coming in at number five, your top five high schools here in the Northern Kentucky area. All right, there you have it, the top five high schools in Northern Kentucky, according to niche.com. And now you know what the schools are, where they're located, and approximately how much it costs to live there. If you have any other questions about these schools, I'll put our contact information right here. We're happy to be your go-to resource for all things Northern Kentucky. And as always, if you're thinking about making a move in or around the Northern Kentucky area, let the Barron's team help you today. And we look forward to talking to you soon.